Mr. Quigley, somebody help me. It's time to shoot the beak. I got to get out of here. Hello, Hello again. again. Come on. Hello, Hello again, again, Abby. Why? Hello again, Abby Ten. I'm Alex. I'm, Al I'm and, Alex. And I'm Alex. Welcome to another episode of The Bing. Can I at least read in peace? Keep going, Alex. Oh, my God. The Key Club's annual breast cancer football game will be held on Friday, October 25th at 7 p.m. This year's theme is We Fight Together. Shirts will be on sale during Lunch and Learn in Think Tank 2 all week leading up to the game, and they cost $10. Tickets to the game will also be sold for $5. Volunteers are needed to help with donations as well as during the, the game that night. Information can be found on the Key Club Google Classroom page. Good job, Fake Alex. Attention Alternative Sports Club. All details for this year's trips are posted in Google Classroom. You must buy or pass through the Blue Mountain Portal by Thursday, October 31st. Please share the link with friends and family who are not in the Alternative Sports Club so they're able to take advantage of discount tickets, which help support our club. Again, join Google Classroom for info, forms, and links, and buy your pass by Thursday, October 31st, and we'll see you on the hill. That's, That's it, it for, for us, but stay tuned. Stay you stole my part. Oh. What's up, Abington? I'm Zion. And I'm Viking. What's on our episode of Ben? Corral Falls Coffee House is tonight at CAFC at 7 p.m. Come hear the talented singers of Corral perform solos and small group performances and enjoy snacks and concessions. Admission is $5. See you there. Attention, Abington community. The class of 26 is running a winter goose sale. Stock up now. The sale ends on November 4th, and gear will be delivered by Thanksgiving break. That's it for us. But stay tuned. Comsey Coffee House Wednesday, October 16th in CAFC at 7 o'clock. It's only $5. Coffee House is a super fun night where the members of Corral sing super trendy songs and all of the money goes to support the Corral and their trips. My favorite thing to do is eat and we're going to eat at Coffee House, so come. Do you only have $5 in the bank account? Me too. Spend it on Coffee House. Come see your friends and all the bases. You know what they say, it's all about that base, no trouble. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass. Hello, Abington. I'm Alex. And I'm Lucas. Here are a few more announcements. Get ready for the $1 candy grab. Do you love candy? Think you could grab a whole lot with just one hand? Now is your chance. For only one dollar, you can grab as much candy as you can with one hand. That's right, as many sweets as your hand can grab. Pay one dollar for a one dollar candy grab voucher 
and grab as much candy as you can with just one hand. Vouchers are on sale in Cafeteria A or in the library. Don't miss out on this sweet deal. If you have a competitive spirit and an interest in science, then join the Science Olympiad. The Science Olympiad team will be holding its first general meeting for new and returning members this Friday during World in One in Mr. Chilly's room, room 248. Anyone curious about the team should attend and learn more about the events and our members. That's it for us. But stay tuned. I'm Tristan, and, I'm Blake. and welcome to Avenue Parking, where we look at some of the worst parking jobs in the entire district. Okay, so right here, we have a normal parking, but if you look closer... It's on the line! Bruh. It should not be... What, really? <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't be oh, over the line. No. Uh, but it's barely on the line, and other than that, the teacher did a pretty good job of parking, so 9 out of 10. Uh, uh, yeah, this one's worse. This uh, one's worse. Mm -hmm. 6 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that's actually all for the teacher parking, it seems like they did a pretty good job today. Oh, we didn't see the student parking yet. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Everyone did a good job of parking today. As you can see, this is a perfectly good parking spot. And it's empty. But somehow the driver decided to park here instead. Oh, right. No. There is no wild white line. This is not a parking spot. This isn't a parking spot. They didn't even park in the correct place. Negative one million or whatever out of town. Whoever left their headlights on. I don't think you're supposed to do that. At least they did a good parking job, though. 5 out of 10. To whoever is driving this car, how did you pass your driver's test? Like, look at this. That is far outside the line, dude, if I've ever seen a line. 2 out of 10. Do you know how to parallel park? Well, that's it for everything parking. It seems a lot of you actually did a pretty good job today. But who knows you don't need your say driver's test next year. Yeah, we really need to make that an 11, don't we? He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. Film club. What's, where do you even begin? I mean, it's brought me to where I am. It's it, it's it's helped to shape who I am as a person. I don't think a lot of things would be the way they are right now if it weren't for film club. If I had to say something about Film Club, I'd say it's a community, if anything. It's, it's just pure... I think it's helped to shape the existence of life in our school, life in the world in general. Like, Film Club has touched me in a very special way, and I think it can touch you as well. If you're thinking about being a part of this community, I'd say join Film Club. Next meeting is, well, this Thursday on the 17th, so I guess you might want to check that out. Think Tank 2, after school. Be there. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? All right, what's your favorite Philadelphia sports moment? Ready? All right, so I'd say probably Bryce going yard. I think game five at NLCS. And I was there, so it was pretty cool to see that. Yeah, I was there. That was crazy. I was there. Hits one in the air. What's your favorite Philadelphia sports moment? It's either got to be Reese Hoskins, uh, game three, bat, uh, bat spike on Strider. Alright, what's your favorite Philadelphia sports moment? When Bryce Harper hit a walk off against the Cubs. That Grand Slam? Yeah, that was crazy. So what's your favorite Philly sports moment ever? Ever? Yes. In my whole life? Yes. Because I'm really old. Yeah. Brandon Graham's strip sack. That's my favorite. Oh, Brady gets hit. The ball is out. And Philadelphia has it. So what's your favorite Philadelphia sports moment? When the Phillies got to the World Series. Fire. Hot clock. Right field. 
Segura's out, Castellanos out, and the Philadelphia Phillies are going to the World Series! So, what's your favorite Philadelphia sports moment? Um, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. So what's your favorite Philadelphia sports moment? Probably the Philly special in the Super Bowl. Nickel is an absolute dog. It has become a serious issue. Students at this school have been vandalizing and destroying school property. These images may be disturbing. Proceed with your own caution. Crusty Crab Pizza is the pizza absolutely. Pizza, 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 pizza. Number four. <laughs> what is the weirdest food combination that you love? The weirdest food combination I love is uh, definitely butter and peanut butter. <laughs> what do you think a ghost sounds like? Uh, I don't really think a ghost sounds like anything. I think it's just like whistling or something. Like, I don't know, something spooky. Number two. If you could give a name to your favorite kitchen appliance, what would it be? Um, it would be a knife, and I would name it Collar. Okay. Pizza, 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 pizza